in this video I'm gonna sound like a little bit of a fanboy but today we are gonna see how we can build lads like Cristiano Ronaldo so I've been playing football my whole life I started when I was five years old and I pretty much never stopped since but apart from playing myself I also love to watch the game and there's one player in particular that I've loved to watch since day one and that player is Cristiano Ronaldo so yeah, I cannot deny the fact that I'm a little bit of a Ronaldo fanboy. I always liked him, I always liked his style of playing, his skills, his speeds, his insane free kicks. And I've been pretty much watching him since day one. Apart from the skills and tricks and free kicks, we also know that Ronaldo is an insane athlete. Like this guy's body and physique is built like a freaking robot, man. It's insane. So that inspired me to make this video. We're gonna go over how to get lads like Cristiano Ronaldo because honestly his lads are pretty impressive we obviously want to focus on the compound move these are the biggest exercises that you want to do every time you train back because these are the ones that are going to make you the most gains and give you the best result so today we're going to go over three of my favorite lat exercises that you can use and utilize in your training program to get lads like Ronaldo I think the first one is the most obvious one pull-ups now pull-ups are a very very hard exercise especially if you start out at the gym they're very tough you're gonna have to pull up your whole body weight is something you haven't done before when you start at the gym some people can do it some people can't this is something that you have to practice and get better at if you're having trouble doing pull-ups at first with your own body weight you can go to an assisted pull-up machine and try to build from there but we're gonna start at a body weight pull-up so there's a few variations of pull-ups that you can do. You have the close grip, the chin up, and the normal standard wide grip pull-up. We wanna focus on the wide grip pull-up because the wider the grip, the more we're gonna focus on our lats. I don't wanna go into too much detail as far as form goes, but the most important thing is to pull through your elbows and make sure you stretch all the way at the bottom and get your chin above the bar. Set and rep branches usually go for three to four sets and either from eight to 12 repetitions. But there's gonna be a time when that's gonna be a little bit too easy. Obviously, it takes a lot of practice, but there's the time that's gonna come. And that's when we wanna introduce the weighted pull up. Now get yourself a weight between your legs or get a chained belt like I have and put some weight on it. Now you're able to make unlimited progress in terms of weight, reps, and sets so you can always improve on your pull-ups. Progress means more muscle and more muscle makes bigger lats. So the second exercise we're gonna do today is gonna be the deadlift. Now the deadlift is not the most obvious choice when it comes to lats because the deadlift is a very big exercise that hits a lot of muscles but the deadlift is one of the best exercise to do for back development in general so that's why I picked the deadlift in terms of sets and reps it varies a lot what people prefer I prefer lower reps and higher sets uh, some people prefer lower sets and higher reps. you kind of have to play with this a couple tips on form because form is 110% key in this exercise I do not want you to do this exercise without performing it in the correct form so please 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 make sure you're safe now we're gonna focus on the conventional deadlift, not the sumo deadlift, so these tips are for the conventional deadlift, but it will be feet at shoulder width, your arms straight, try overhand grip until your grip cannot handle it anymore, then you can do mixed grip. Never do underhand grip with deadlifts. It will, you will tear up your body. Squeeze your abs, keep your core tight, keep your back straight, arms straight, and keep your neck in a neutral position. Please make sure to watch more in-depth videos on form, watch how I do it, watch how other people do it, and then try it yourself. Now for the third exercise, I was picking between two exercises, one being the lat pull down, and two being the dumbbell row. Now the lat pull down is very, very similar to the pull up, so I thought it would be better to put in a dumbbell row because that will also build a little bit more of back thickness that's gonna help and thicken your lats so they even look more prominent for the dumbbell row it is quite easy it is a sawing movement like you're sawing a big oak log so you want to position yourself on a bench like you see in this video keep your back straight and make the movement pulling through your elbow. You don't wanna pull through with the biceps or with your wrist, you wanna pull through with the elbow. As far as the dumbbell rows, 
set rep and weight ranges. Only use a weight so you can perform the exercise with good form, you feel it in the right place, and if you don't, lower the weight, try again and try to feel in the right place, which is obviously the lats. Now for sets and reps, I usually go for three or four sets and then eight to 12 repetitions on each arm. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you are new to the channel, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below and make sure to ring the bell to get notifications on my uploads. It's usually shit on YouTube, so that's why you should ring the notifications bell. This video is not over yet, I have something quite fun. We talked in the, in the beginning of the video when I was younger that I looked up to Ronaldo a lot. But when I was younger, I also played RuneScape a lot. Now, RuneScape, you might think, what the hell are you talking about RuneScape right now? I always had one goal on RuneScape, and that, that was to have full dragon. If you don't know what RuneScape is, whatever. It's like the outfit you should only get if you're a member and all like level 60, whatever. If you do know what I mean, this was a lifetime goal for me. And over the past two weeks, I decided to pursue that goal again. I did it. But now, I have a lot of money in my account. Uh, that I want to just give away. So I want to go in the worlds right now and just give away a bunch of money to people who are still playing. This is it, right? I spent two weeks on building my account. It's not good at all. I know, I'm just a noob. But I want to get 60 combat levels so I can wear full dragon. And now I just want to, uh, for the fun of the video, and to make it over 10 minutes, give away this 20 million that I have uh, laying around left. To a lot of players, this could be a lot of money. So I just want to go in free to play worlds where um, people cannot wear dragon and give them some money to buy some stuff. Or maybe I can buy them some outfits or something. Let's just have some fun with it, you know? Who needs money? Trade me. There you go, 50,000, nice. Follow me on Instagram and I will give you one mil. Just for Jasper. This is great, I love this. I, I see, he followed me. No way, he did actually follow me right there. Look, 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 we're gonna give him a million, one mil. There you go, buddy. Enjoy your million, man. Bro, we're, <laughs> we're promoting our Instagram on RuneScape, bro. This is the best. Face is the best. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Big buff guy, Jasper. Yeah, that's me, man. I, I, I lift some weights here there, you know? I'm helping people out on the game that they love because I, I'm gonna stop playing it. One million. One million GP. It's a lot of money, man. So I made one friend on this two weeks that helped me out with some question stuff. So I need you to come to my world to GE so I can give him some money because he's helped me out a lot and I want to give something back to him. So what we're going to do right now is going to buy a bunch of sets, boom, armor set. Let's buy like five. All right, this is my friend Tabwater. So Tabwater is getting some millions from me because I like him. So let's give him four million. Ha! What? So the, the items come here 30 seconds after I drop them. So they, that's why they're not picking up right now because there's nothing on their screens yet. They're gonna be starting running around picking up all the sets which is really cool. Yep, there you go. They're finding everything now, which is really cool. I'm dropping all day, giving back to the people. No problem, bro. Here you go, buddy. Who needs items? I will uh, buy you some. Oh, there you go. Do you need? Stay here, mate. I'll got you some arrows, man. No problem. Steel arrow. 3,000 of them. Enjoy. Do you want full Addy G, brother? Sure. Okay. I will buy. You. Stay here and follow me on Instagram. At phase Jasper. You don't have Instagram, bro? Okay, whatever. Nice, look at this, upgrade of the century. 
No fo unfollow allowed. Moon armor set. Let's do a trimmed. Let's do it. This is too much fun, to be honest, man. <laughs> All right, thank you, mate. Check it out. Hell yeah. You got a sick Insta. What the hell? Thank you, sir. Elf leads the bomb. Yes, it is. So is your outfit. I need all of you to go to my Instagram first to follow. Wins four million. Easy money. Okay, pure Raymond. You were the fastest one. Four million. Four point one three three. Okay. Enjoy it, man. All right, boys, that's it. I gave away approximately 20 million to people, randomly people that I wanted to help in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later for more fitness content. This was super, super random, not usually what I do on my channel, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later. Deuces.